<laughs> hey, hey, what's going on? Welcome to the vlog today. Uh, I know I've been off for a couple days. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going on last week. A uh, very busy week. Couple things. One, about, I want to say around the springtime, early uh, March, April, somewhere around there, uh, Isabel and I were contacted by a production company that actually does um, shows for HGTV. And we went through a series of interviews and a bunch of stuff, and they actually presented a sizzle reel to uh, HGTV to begin a new show. We're elevating the outdoor living. Hey, I don't know if I can call today a vlog pretty much. Today is kind of just more me speaking and talking a little bit about life. Um, last week or week before, uh, Isabel and I got noticed that one of our cousins, and I want to say more of a nephew to me than cousin, he's 25 years old, he actually passed away, and uh, we had to go to Columbus, Ohio this weekend for the funeral. And one of the things that we that was actually bothered me about the whole thing, and I can't get it out of my mind and out of my head, is uh, this young man was sort of not, not living in the greatest neighborhoods, just trying his best to move on. His father died at an early age, so his mom had several kids and she's trying to maintain them, live life, and basically on her own. You know how the world does. If you're sort of in those areas in the hood, the, they kind of forget about you and move on. The family sort of acts like they want to be a part of it, but really, nobody really cares. They're just kind of on their thing. Well, this young man, was doing his best to maintain his mom, his sisters, and everybody, and everything he possibly could. Um, what bothers me the most about him, he actually would call me up from time to time and say, hey, Unc, you know, how am I supposed to do this? I'm working this job. I got this money. Where should I put it? Or what should I do? You know, he always kind of looked up to me. And even when we were living in Ohio, he would come by our house in Delaware, sort of hang out with us. And he was working at a restaurant. Isabel and I would go over there and we would kind of give him that special tip. You know, you, you had dinner and do things and we'd slide him like that 50 or that $100 tip. You mean, um, just so he knew we, we loved and cared about him. You know, he would always contact us. He'd say, you know, Unc, I want to live like you. I want to have all the big houses and all that stuff. And, you know, we just used to tell him, you know, just work hard, do your best. And I was always saying, you got to get out of the environment. You got to get out of there. You got to get out of there. You got to move away. You got to move away. You got to get out of there. Well, I guess he didn't move fast enough and um, the neighborhood got him. You know what I mean? It sort of sucked you in. It's a vacuum. And it seems like it's it's like that across America. Uh, there's two things that I learned from this funeral and this story about this young, amazing kid. One, the first thing is, you sort of live in your obituary every day. You know, like while we were at the funeral, and even people who didn't go to the funeral who sort of knew him, they always said that happy kid, the, the kid with the smile on his face, he was always smiling, he was always happy. And that he was, he was always smiling. He was always happy, he was probably covering his pain, he was dealing with a lot, come to find out. There was a lot of other hidden things that he was dealing with that pretty much had um, had a lot to do with his death. So, you I mean, it fi those things finally catch up with you. Number two, young black kids in the hood are not all bad. And so I know the world, the media, and everybody wants to portray these children as bad kids or, or dope dealers or just negative or, or animals or the new words, thugs. They're not all bad, you know what I mean? They're just sort of born inside this area that it's not really the best spot for them or for anybody else. And some are doing their best to get out and some are just coping with the world that they're living with. I mean, we've always put out our helping hand to try to help as many as we could. Um, I have several other kids that I actually got out of the hood. Uh, they're doing great, have great jobs. They contact me from time to time. Uh, one just contacted me recently, he's just happy to be living the life that he's living now because of some of the things that I taught him. So uh, just some life lessons, you guys can take that and um, and take it where you can on that one. We had to deal with that weekend, sort of sort of a tough blow mentally. I, I know I was had some vlogs to do last Wednesday and Friday and I just didn't want to do them. I didn't want to carry any cameras to Ohio. I didn't want to do any recordings. I also have some issues over there dealing with family and stuff like that. I didn't want any of that. I just wanted to just kind of let, let things go and kind of let it go on a natural progression. So back to the vlog after that, uh, oh, you guys got to take a look at the area. This is sort of my new vlog spot out here. Uh, it's the best spot I can vlog in the wintertime without any wind coming at me. So yes, HGTV did respond to us. They, they did 
It was pretty neat. We made it all the way to what you call this uh, green light meeting. It was, and what the green light meeting consists of is, is all like the high end executives, probably the CEOs and things like that of HGTV. They reviewed the sizzle reel. They reviewed the information about who we are and what we are. And they were to make uh, one of three choices. They were either gonna provide money for the production company to make a pilot, um, to test it out. Uh, they were also either going to start a pilot on their show, on their channel, and kind of test it and see if uh, the viewers like to pick it up, or they could have just picked up a whole entire series of outdoor living with Isabel and myself, and then I think Nancy uh, Hannah by Landscape Architect was going to be involved in the process. Um, it was a pretty neat endeavor. Uh, unfortunately, they said no, and they turned down the whole thing. Uh, I'm actually not upset about it. And you know, most people would kind of be devastated, be upset. I'm actually not. I am a brother pretty much. I mean, not, I really didn't, wasn't raised in the hood, but I know we started off kind of in the inner city and we moved up landscaping everything. And, and now I get to travel the whole United States of America designing outdoor living spaces for people. But I came from humble beginnings, you know, and to make it this far and to have executives from HGTV looking at your sizzle reel, even though they said no and turned it down, they still know who I am now. They know who my wife is, Isabel. They know who, you know what I mean? Everybody who was gonna be a part of it, they know who we are. So it's not actually a bad thing. There's also other channels. You I mean, you have OWN, she has her own network. She could use some outdoor living, especially some, you I mean, it's a little bit of flavor, some brothers. You have Netflix, they they have all kind of different shows and some flavors, some other things. I was never really thinking about this lifestyle or this way of doing it. But after this whole event that we went through pretty much this whole summer, I'm sort of excited and pumped. Maybe there's more to come and there's more to come of this type of show or this type of thing with who we are, what we do. My, my goal is to elevate the outdoor living across the United States. It's to raise the value of homes. It's sort of my why. I, I want people to come outside and look at their outdoor space better than what they used to look at it. And instead of just having a paver patio or just some basic, look at it as if it's an environment. I, I want them to want it and I want them to want to enjoy it. So hey, thanks for watching the vlog. We're elevating the outdoor living. Um, this vlog is sort of a downer, but in the end, it is an upper. Keep pushing, keep looking for greatness.